we're going to draft a team, NBA team of NFL players. So the NFL starts tomorrow night if you're watching this episode on Wednesday. Obviously, the Ravens will face off against the Chiefs. Yep. I'm excited for that matchup and because I'm so excited. George and I are going to draft an NBA team of NFL players. George, I'll give you the first pick because I forgot the dice <laughs> and, <laughs> and we got to keep it going. So who do you want on your team? This is tough because then you realize how small NFL players are. Yes. You're like, all right, who's the most athletic tight end? He's like, six <laughs> six. Where am I going to get my size? Yep. I'm just going to go with sick athlete, massive range. I'm going to go Justin Jefferson. Jettas. I don't know if he has any basketball background. Like I was going with guys of that, but I want to have some fun with it. Yep. So I'm going Justin Jefferson, my first pick. Do you have a position that you want to put him in? Six one, two oh five. So I think he's I think he's a two. Okay. He's a receiver, you know. JJ. He's he does he doesn't got the IQ of a quarterback. He's a receiver. I'll put him at the two spot. Jettas, yeah. I didn't have him on my list. I'm gonna take a guy that <laughs> no one's gonna know who this is if for our whole my banner fans, unless you're a huge NFL fan. I'm to- taking tight end for the Colts, Mo Ali Cox. Yeah, he played at VCU for four years, averaging eight points a game, four right. rebounds. I need an actual guy who got it done at a, at some type of level over high school. So I'm going to take him and put him at the position he played in college at the four. Mo Ali Cox wasn't even on my list. I love that pick. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go with the guy that. To me, he has the best release off the line of scrimmage in the NFL. I'm going to another receiver here, but I'm going backcourt. It's a guard-driven league, right? Yep. Devontae Adams. Mm. How he got so good with his route running and how he's so good at getting open. And he said it. It's like, I just crossed dudes up. And he played basketball in high school. Could have got a basketball scholarship. Decided to go play football at Fresno instead. Because, yep. you know, he couldn't hoop at Fresno because boys like my guy, Tate, Ante, were there. <laughs> so he's like, I don't got a chance on that team. But yep. I'm going with Devontae Adams. He's got that basketball background. He still plays like one. I want to go Tay Adams. Yeah, I got to go with a guy that's going to make this team a lot of fun. Another receiver like you, you've been taking off the board. I got to go get a guy who played spot minutes as a freshman at Michigan State. Uh, Give me Keon Coleman. He's going to make the team hilarious. You know, we all need to have a good laugh because there's going to be a lot of bad basketball being played out there. So give me Keon Coleman. And I'll put him at the two. I like that pick. 6'4", too. Bigger than Jets or Devontae Adams. Actually, I'm going to put him at the three. (laughs) Put him at three stretch wing there. All right. You're not going to like this pick. I'm a... Actually. All right. Guard, guard. Yep. I'm going to go with my center now. Okay. Dewan Jones. Dewan Jones. Offensive tackle okay. for the Browns. 6'8". He had offers in high school to play basketball at Ball State, Kent State, Bowling Green. Yep. But then USC, Ohio State, Penn State, Florida came knocking for football, and he made the right choice. But six foot eight, and he's got like a 325-pound frame. I mean, he's playing hoops. Let's get that down to like 290, and yeah. no one's going to be able to mess with him. Yeah, I'm going to save my center because you already wasted yours, and I'm going to go get some more guards. I need a, a, a guard who is extremely good. Now, look, there's some guys who have played high school basketball, been good, but none – like Drake May. His brother, Luke, was so good at North Carolina that I got to put Drake at point for me. i seen his hezzy pull. Bro, it's six, just enough. Four, average a double-double and in high a, school. And he's a QB. I got to put him at the point guard. So, uh, Drake May at my point guard. I was being nice, and that's why I saved this pick. I'm going C.J. Stroud. F you. I know you wanted Stroud. <laughs> I, I even had Drake May highlighted red. I'm marking my team is red. Yours is blue. Yeah. I already had Drake May highlighted red because I was going to go with him after Dewan Jones. <laughs> I like I like that. I like that. Okay. 31 points in the All-Star game can shoot. And again, a quarterback. Yeah. You know he's got the IQ. Yeah. Another guy who is a you know a good shooter. We have him here on this graphic, man. Playing for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's a great quarterback. He can shoot the ball. I've seen him in pickup, man. He has a hand. Handle. He can shoot it. He's calm like he is on the football field. I'm putting him at the two. Give me Patrick Mahomes. That's good. And you know he's a winner. Com- yep. com- how competitive he's going to be. Mahomes is going to come <laughs> in, though, with a George Niang body. Let's see if he gets right <laughs> to be playing in the NBA. Nah, nah. You know, he's going to be that. ready. He's going to be ready. All right, so I got Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, Dewan Jones, and yep. C.J. Stroud. Yep. So I got three guards and a center. Yep. I need a good wing. Yep. I'm going pure athleticism here. I don't know any basketball background, but at yeah. six foot six, I'm going Kyle Pitts. Mm, he's like Kyle my favorite. Pitt. He's my he. You love drafting Kyle Pitts. He's just a sick anything. athlete. I don't care. He sucks as a tight end. We'll see him now in a Zach Robinson system. 
You love drafting Kyle Pitts and anything. He's a man. sick athlete. He's six six. Give me give me Kyle Pitts. Yeah, he definitely has the tools. I'm going to go get a guy that I have seen play pickup basketball beforehand who is also a sick athlete. This guy, defensive end. He is a oh, killer. Oh, good call. I need Miles Garrett. That was bad on my part. Miles Garrett at center will be insane. Yep. So I'm gonna rock with him. Miles Garrett. He's like six one, six two though. Dewan Jones, six care. eight. Yeah, you, but hey. Perfect matchup at the end against the tackle. Uh, O-line versus D-line. We're going to see it, man. We're going to see it. I, I am going to take the guy who I've seen just be a swole human being out there looking like the thing from Fantastic Four. Yeah, yeah. I'm rocking with Miles. And then he stands next to Steph, and he looks small height-wise right. next to Steph Curry. He looks short. He yeah. looks short. Short. I just say small height wise. He doesn't look small. All right, all right. Enough attacking short kings. All right. Yeah, Me and Miles yeah, yeah. Garrett, we're both the same height. We're both short kings. <laughs> so I got sixth man now. Yep, sixth man. I wonder if you know this. Yep. I'm going Daniel Jones, Danny Daniel Dimes. Daniel Jones. So 6'5", okay. 230. He played on Jay Billis's AAU team yep. in high school. And that was a team with Grant Williams, and he was a really good player. Yeah. But get this. Going into his senior year of high school, he won MVP at Billis's camp. Yeah. And he showed up with a brace on his wrist because he broke it. And he still yep. won MVP of the camp. Give me Daniel Jones. Underrated athletically. Awful quarterback, but a good athlete. So give me DJ off the bench. That's my sixth man. Yeah. All right. So with the last pick, I have a couple of guys that I, I want to look at. So Cooper DeGene, I average. Oh, good call. He had 1,000, one, I mean, excuse me, 1,832 points in high school. Joe Burrow averaged 20 points a game in high school. Mike Evans was a guy who averaged like 18 and 5 in Texas. Uh, Drake London was a two-sport athlete at USC. He was on the basketball team. I don't think he ever got in the game. And then after freshman year, like Keon Coleman, just focused on football and being a receiver. So I have a lot of good guys here. But I think I want to take Mike Evans because, once again, Size is everything. Huge. Having him, uh, that big of a receiver, he's obviously an extremely reliable guy in the NFL, a thousand yard receiver every single year. I need a guy who's going to be consistent, reliable. I know what I'm going to get every single time. Once again, playing out of Texas, he's seen some good high school basketball. I'm sure he would have been a good college athlete if he chose to play basketball as well, but he didn't. So I'm going to rock with Mike Evans. All right. I like that pick. Uh, I didn't even think you, you put in this one too, like pick a coach Yeah, from the NFL. Give me Andy Reid. Creative, ah! creative of drawing up plays. I didn't even think of a coach ah! yet that written. You heard of me, bro. I love it. That's for Reed. Keon Coleman. No, it's for Drake May, actually. Because he coached at uh, UTEP as well, so I love Andy Reid. <laughs> ah, man. I'm going to go with Kyle Shanahan. Smart. Yeah, go with a good play caller, good designer. Exactly. He's just going to drop good offense. All right, let's run through our teams really quickly. All right, mine is Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, Kyle Pitts, C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud is my point guard in all this. Pitts is yep. my four. Yep. Jets and Adams are my two and three. Yep. Dewan Jones down low is a five. Yep. Daniel Jones off the bench, 6'5", yep. 230. Yep. And then on the sidelines, big red Andy Reid. Yeah, i am got Drake May at the one. Patrick Mahomes at the two, Keon Coleman at the three, Mo Ali Cox, who actually played college basketball at the four. <laughs> Miles, Jones played? No, he didn't play college. Miles basketball. Garrett at the five, Mike Evans as my sixth man, and then I'll have Kyle Shanahan as my coach. Y'all tell us who you think would win in the comments. You you have two separate college, former college basketball players. Yes. We don't have to get into how many minutes Keon Coleman played. We got two guys that actually played D one ball. Yes. I just got sick athletes. Yes. Daniel Jones. That would be the one. People be like, who what? Yeah. All right. Now, I have this ranking that I got from NBA Central. They have a lot of great content on Twitter. They wanted us to rank these players all time from one to four. So it's James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul. All right. How do you rank these four players, George? Dwayne Wade won, three-time NBA champ, finals MVP, yep. eight-time All-NBA. Chris Paul, two, yep. 11-time All-NBA, nine-time All-Defense, third all-time in assists in the league. Westbrook three, James Harden four, and Westbrook and Harden similar somewhat <coughs> overall resumes. Both won an MVP. Russ two time scoring champ, three time assist champ. Harden's a reverse, but like Russell Westbrook's got that dog in him. James Harden wants nothing to do with it when the games matter most in the playoffs. He doesn't want the ball in his hands, so I'm bumping. I don't even want James Harden on my list. He's four, but my list is one through three, bro. Yeah. Huh, bro? J what what has James Harden done in the playoffs that you want him? Huh? 
Okay. All right. Jim, you want Jimmy Harden? I, I'm surprised they even called him James. Hold on. Hold on, Joris. Okay. D Wade so, one. There are, Chris Paul two. Yes. One of the all time goats. Russell Westbrook three. Yes. Carrying a Thunder team. And I put Jimmy Harden fourth, ranking one through four. So, okay, we both agree D Wade is one. That's, that's an easy no, one. That's an easy one. D Wade is the best player on this list, right? Third best shooting guard in NBA history. None of these guys are third best in their position at all, right? All right. Scratch that off the list, right? Will this team to a championship? After that, the other three guys, two of them have won MVP, and one of them never have. So I'm already dropping CP to four. All the way to four. He's already four. Bro. Because at his peak, he was never the best player in the league. Two of these guys were Westbrook and Harden. So I'm putting them above. Now, this is where... I think it gets like, hmm, is, was it Westbrook or was it Harden? This is the hard decision for me. I personally think I'm going to rock with Westbrook as well as the second best player on this list. But if we're talking about their entire body of work, then I got to look at Harden as a better player throughout his entire career. You know what I'm saying? Because Westbrook kind of fell off a cliff after his MVP years. Yeah. Harden has and been revived more his consistent. Career. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put Harden too. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Harden's consistent of you get to the playoffs and you're in a must-win game and he doesn't show up and doesn't want the ball. I'm taking that. I'm going resume and then I'm going what I see on the court. Yeah, but Westbrook So I get everything wants, you're saying with but MVPs. Westbrook wants the ball at the end of the game, but what does he do with it? You know Bro, what I'm at saying? Least, at least he's that competitor that wants the ball in his hands. James Harden, Game 7, against the Celtics when he was with the 76ers, a minute into the game, everyone in that arena knew he did not want to be I, there. I saw, At least Russ gets you to the end of the game. I saw James Harden take the best team in NBA history to 7. You know what yeah, I'm saying? when he took I, the Warriors. I, I, Westbrook was out there getting dogged by Damian Lillard <laughs> by himself. And this is at their peak. Right. right? So, like, come on, bro. Yeah. Like, I got to no. give Harden a nod. Westbrook is third. Who and else, was on, that team? Is Who else was on that team with James Harden when they Chris took him to seven? Oh, okay. when he, was, he wasn't there really doing much either. He choked, too. Jimmy Jimmy <laughs> Harden, no go for me, bro. He, ha- he hates he hates it when stuff matters most. Whatever, man. Just wrap the show up. I'm like, you got me mad. D-Wade Just wrap one, the show Chris up. Chris Paul man. two, Russell Westbrook three. That's it. My list stops at three. I don't go four on this one. <laughs>